are so thrilled to have an opportunity to do this that it's easy to encourage everyone to give us a call and see what might be available that would suit what you have available, whether it's two hours or however many hours you might have available for this. But I, I don't know of anyone who has not enjoyed the experience. And it only comes once a year. I mean, we only have the book fair in November. So we look forward to it every year. And there's always something going on. Now, we, we alluded to it a couple of times, but we didn't really get into details about Children's Day. That could be very important. To, does somebody want to say what is happening with Children's Day? Where are they going to be and when? I think this is probably the third year yes. that we've mm -hmm. had Children's Day. So this is fairly new and it's, it's on that uh, Friday morning. For the most part at schools are bringing their classes in uh, and, and we have a number of uh, well-known authors who will be there and who will also be there on Saturday, children's authors. Uh, George L. Line will be one of them the who will be have a special session and I've seen George L. Line with children and she is just a natural. Um, so it's geared towards classes but if you uh, have a child or if you're a grandmother or a parent that just wants to come and see the really nice children's books you're welcome to come on that Saturday uh, we'll be oh, there. Friday. I'm sorry <laughs> I keep wanting to make it on Friday but it's Friday and uh, and it, it it starts at 8 and it's over at 3 so they close early you want yeah, to make sure if, if you want to come there you need to come another, early. I think another example of the book fair stepping in to fill uh, a void for child, this case children, uh, they're going to have their special day, and in some cases the book fair is sending grants to pay for the transportation to bring the students in, because we the book fair sees starting kids to read. You can't get any better than that. Yeah, the transportation it, is a problem for schools that don't have money to get a bus together, driver, et cetera, and bring them. And let me put in a plug for Joe Gravis at McDonald's, who has given us money to provide grants to those schools who apply uh, to bring in their kids. We've had such good response from that. And I love last year, uh, one of the teachers that came with a bus load of kids said on the way home, she had never heard a bus so quiet. Mm -hmm. All the kids were reading their books. There Which was just fabulous. It. There are so many, many reasons to come to the Kentucky Book Fair. Make sure that you are in attendance this year and call and see if there isn't some small portion of your time that you could volunteer to make this thing one of the most memorable events that we've had. Make sure you get to the Kentucky Book Fair. And don't forget to come back next time around and join us for At Your Library. Mm -hmm.